Hi, I'm Chris Parkin. Welcome to the Night Vision Show. Hi, I'm here for the Night Vision Show. Scott Country have asked me to list five things that I really like about the uh, Sightmark Wraith and why I would recommend it. So, listing from, well, front to back or inside to out. The first thing I love about the Wraith is because you can use it in colour mode, it's very easy to set up and zero in daylight. You've got full adaptability to any light condition because you can shoot middle of the day, you can shoot in the evening, and this is really, really good in what I call the witching hour, which is that gap between daylight, dusk, darkness, where even with the extra illuminators, night vision can be a real struggle. The third point to that being that at night, when you flick into night mode on here, you've got great functional usage out to 250 meters on, on decent sized ground game and foxes. So that's my first major point about the adaptability of the Wraith. Mark number two, you get a good illuminator with it. The illuminator fits on the Picatinny rail on the top. It's fully adjustable on spherical mount so you can lock it into your point of zero and it doesn't shift. Okay, it's not the strongest illuminator for distant use and you'll see here I've got an additional one on anyway. But if you're using a scope for ratting or rabbiting around barns, farm buildings, things like that, the included illuminator is everything you need it to be for a scope that will do all seasons, all light conditions and all vermin. Factor number three. The Picatinny rail on the top means you can add that additional illuminator without any lateral balance issues and the gun going wonky, feeling as if it's weighted to one side. It makes it accessible and furthermore, it's short and neat and doesn't take a huge amount of space up either in your gun cabinet or in your rifle case. Fact number four, when the Wraith first arrived, it had an underside Picatinny mount. It wasn't really very good for anything except an AR-15 based rifle, but guess what? Sightmark brought out a longer mount for it, what they called the bolt action rifles, which means the, the gun will come back happily on a bolt action rifle to give you a great shooting position akin to any normal rifle scope. Fact number five about the Wraith, I'm going to spin it around a little bit there. I got a bit of grief for this because I actually took a file and I cut a groove in the extended mount and I put a, a fishing coaster on the adjustment here for focus. But what that means is that from the shooting position, I can easily alter my focus, get it nice and precise with nothing more than the movement of the fingers. There's no need to grip anything, access around the illuminator, no problem at all. Here's another freebie for you. This is number six. I love the fact you can use AA batteries. We've all got rechargeable nickel metal hydrides, lithiums, all sorts of things like that. Fantastic news. But you can go down the shop, you can buy a packet of four AA batteries, chuck them in your shooting bag, they'll last there for probably five years before they hit their use by date, which even then is probably bullshit. And they'll still work if you need them to in an emergency. So AA batteries, an extra factor. And of course, if you want, you can plug a, a micro USB battery pack into it for those who want to, to do that. It's a bit more bulky. I'm not gonna bother myself. Great stuff. Another extra factor, which I don't know, maybe number seven by now. Uh, they only wanted five, but I like it so much they can have some freebies. Um, Number seven is the eye relief on it. Now, it's got about 50 millimeters of eye relief. You snug in here, but strangely enough, there's more space in this compartment and you don't seem to get as much condensation forming on the internal ocular lens from the heat of your face when you're out in the cold at night. It's also the fact they don't make a big deal about it being super caliber capable, because frankly, it's enough for a 223 or 243. Um, you may have seen in, in various articles and things over the last six or nine months, this scope's been on 17 HMRs, 2-2 rimfires, air guns, it's been on a 243 Mauser and it's now on this 223 Sauer 101. It's on this one because I love this gun, I use this gun two or three nights a week, it's reliable, it's just the kit I can pick up and go with in 223. Um, the Wraith combines with that perfectly, as does this PBIR Illuminator which I've been very happy with. The last factor, which I think we must be at number eight now, is the price. Now, the Wraith is 600 quid. Given the fact you can use this scope on vermin in any light conditions possible, it sort of negates the requirement for, for what I did, you know, 15, 20 years ago and spent a thousand quid, 1500 quid on a really good European optic to use with a lamp. Well now, 600 quid on a Wraith and another couple hundred, 250-ish on a really good illuminator, you know, um, the PBIR, the Wicked Light, something like that, 
is just your go-to solution for any light condition out to 250, maybe even 300 meters. I like the fact it doesn't go into auto dimming too much. You have a bit more manual control over it. And also the fact that it's simple to use the menu. Interestingly, it's a slightly ergonomic point here, but when you're holding a rifle, it's quite easy to push and click here without upsetting the overall position of the rifle, which some of the side, side, um, side adjusters can do. Just the little four keys here and the, and the central press button is all you need to mess about with. So I think that pretty much covers it. They asked for five, I've given them eight. I really like the Wraith. It's got even better value than since it first came out. There may be a new one available in the future, but frankly, why would you run to them? Because it's compact, it's inexpensive, it's effective, it's good for anything from an air rifle up to a 243 in my experience, for daylight, darkness, twilight, vermin. Uh, and, and I think that pretty much seals the deal. You've seen me use the scope a lot, and do you know why? I'm a professional reviewer. I do not repeat use things that frustrate me or take time or extra effort to use. The Wraith doesn't fit in that category. I would go as far as to say I really like it, and I think it represents what so many shooters can aspire to using. It's all very well having £7,000 guns. You've used, seen me use loads of them. Three, £4,000 thermal. This is 800 quid, pretty much as you're looking at it here. It's just a go-to for the UK shooter. Thanks for watching.